Hi, this is Keely, and today we're going to investigate the classic Atwood problem, where we have two different masses suspended by a wire over a pulley, and we have to usually determine the acceleration of the system and possibly the tension in the wire, which I always prefer to find the tension in the side that's going up. So, in today's lab, we're going to get data on three different Atwood systems, so you can figure out the acceleration of the system, Compare it to what the acceleration should be theoretically from figuring out the Atwood problem. What we're going to do is we're going to have two masses suspended from the string, and we're going to measure the height. This is above the ground. You can time that rate of fall, and from that you can use this to figure out the acceleration and compare it to the acceleration of the system you find by just using the masses and see how well they compare to each other. All right? Okay, let's get started with the lab. This is a classic Atwood machine where we've got two hanging masses by a rope uh, with a pulley. And right now, we have equal mass on both sides. So wherever I put it, that's where it stays. And a lot of elevators use this principle. They have a counterweight so that the motor doesn't actually have to move the entire weight of the cart and the people. It just moves the weight of the people because there's a counterweight helping out with the weight of the cart itself. What we're going to do is we're going to put them at about the same height and We're going to measure the distance from the bottom to the floor of the one that we put the heaviest mass on. And you can time it, the time how long it takes to fall that distance. And now that you know the distance, the original velocity is zero, and the time that you'll do, you can figure out the acceleration of the system. And then compare it to the acceleration of the system that it should be theoretically by solving that wood equation. So let's give it a shot. We're going to do it with several different masses so you can get an average and test out how well the predicted value matches up with the actual value. We're going to start off with, this is 5 grams. These are already 50 grams. So that means I'm going to have 55 grams on this side, 50 grams on the other, and we're going to start it off with, oops, at a height of, now they're actually fairly apart from each other, so we can actually do this. Let's start off the entire height. So this is about... Seventy two point five centimeters. Seventy two point five centimeters. And I'm going to release it when I say one, two, three, go. Let me just double check. I want to make sure I stay at seventy two and a half. When I release it, time how long it takes for me to release it until when it hits the floor. I'll release it on three. I'll go one, two, three. Actually, I'll release it on release. I'll go one, two, three, release. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, release. Let's do that again. Reset the pulley. We'll do another time. With that against the ground, I am at 72 and a half centimeters. So I can release it from here. Ready? 55 grams versus 50 grams. One, two, three, release. Can use the click so that you can get the time when it hits the floor. One 
one last time. Do this weight. 55 grams versus 50 grams. One, two, three, release. All right. Now, that one is fine, but what if we increase the mass difference? So this was five grams that we added to this side. Let's add 10 grams. So now it's 60 versus 50 grams. Ready? One, two, three, release. That was quite a bit faster. Sixty versus fifty grams. One, two, three, release. The height it's falling from is again seventy-two and a half centimeters, which you will need to convert to meters. One, two, three, release. All right, that's three with that setup. Let's go with. I don't want to go too much heavier because then human reaction time becomes a very significant error in this lab because it will fall so quickly. But let's leave that one. And actually let's put another five grams on there. So now this is 65 grams versus 50 grams. And we'll do three runs of it. Ready? One, two, three, release. Sixty-five grams versus fifty grams. One, two, three, release. One more time. Sixty-five grams versus fifty grams. One, two, three, release. Okay. Now that you got your times, you got the masses, you have the distance that this fell you should be able to theoretically calculate what the acceleration should be and from the distance and the time calculate what the acceleration was and compare the two. Okay, thank you and tune in again we'll do a slightly different Atwood machine problem where we keep the total mass of the system the same we just move the mass from one side to the other and compare the accelerations. Alright, thank you, tune in again, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, please. Bye.